Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have one complex number and we have to express it in a polar form. That means in terms of r and theta. See, it is looking difficult, but it is not that much difficult. It has numerator, it has denominator. First of all, we will think for numerator only. We will express it in an exponential form. And after that, for denominator also, we will convert it into exponential form. Let us do that. So for z is equal to 1 minus i, right? So consider this complex number. Here real part x is equal to 1, imaginary part y is equal to minus 1, multiple of i is minus 1, that's why. Let us find r and theta. The formula of r is very simple. This is square root of square of x plus square of y. So its value is root 2. Okay, so let us think for theta. So theta is equal to, as you can see here, x is positive, y is negative. That means the given complex number lies in fourth quadrant. Okay, so the formula of theta is minus tan inverse mod y by x. So let us use this formula to find its theta. So this is minus tan inverse mod y by x. y is minus 1, x is 1. Okay, so what will happen so that uh, because of mod, that minus sign will get vanished and we will have only tan inverse 1. The value of tan inverse 1 is pi by 4. So its value will be minus pi by 4 okay so therefore 1 minus i i am expressing it in a exponential form it is r e raised to i theta r is root 2 e raised to i theta theta is pi by 4 minus pi by 4 after that they have mentioned some power so let us take power of both sides okay i am taking 23rd power so therefore 1 minus i raised to 23 is equal to 2 raised to 23 root root means 1 by 2 getting root means what 1 by 2 raised to 1 by 2 so that's why it will be 2 raised to 23 by 2 and here what will happen minus 23 pi i by 4 by taking 23rd power of both sides we got this one so this is the value of numerator we have expressed it in a exponential form so let us do the same thing for denominator also what we have here I will write z is equal to root 3 minus i. So therefore real part, what is its real part? Root 3, what is its imaginary part? Minus 1, y is equal to minus 1. Let us find value of r and theta. So the formula of r says square root of square of x, that means 3 plus square of y, which is 1. So its value will be 2. Let us find theta, but before that we will think where that z lies. This complex number x is positive, y is negative, right? So x is positive, y is negative. So that means again it lies in fourth quadrant, okay? So that's why the uh, formula of theta is equal to minus tan inverse mod y. Y is minus 1, x is root 3. See, there is mod. So therefore, no need to worry about that minus sign. Simply we have to think for tan inverse of 1 by root 3. So value of tan inverse of 1 by root 3 is pi by 6. So its value will be minus pi by 6 because of this minus sign. So therefore we can express this number root 3 minus i in an exponential form as r is 2 e raised to i theta. So theta is minus pi by 6. But we should not stop here since we have to take its power. Its power is 13. So let us take 13 power of both sides. So after doing it, what will we have? Root 3 minus i raised to 13. Here also same thing will happen. 2 raised to 13. And here also e raised to minus 13 pi i by 6. I hope it is visible to you. Okay. So in this way, we express numerator in exponential form, denominator also in exponential form. So now let us take ratio. And by doing some simple calculation, we can easily convert into polar form. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So now I have taken the ratio of both complex numbers. Okay. So exponential form we have already calculated. Simply I put them there. Okay. So let us simplify it further. What will I do? I will shift this denominator to numerator. So it has power positive. So if you shift to the numerator, it, it will have negative power. So what will happen? 2 raised to 23 by 2 into 2 raised to minus 13 right into 
I'm just copying this one minus to copy paste 23 pi i by 4. I'm shifting it to the numerator e raised to it will have plus sign 13 pi i by 6. Okay, so both of them have the same base. So you can add powers and multiplication is there. So that's why 2 raised to 23 by 2 minus 13. Same thing will happen here into e raised to minus 23 pi i by 4 plus 13 pi i by 6. Let us simplify it further. You can cross multiply 23 minus 26. So minus 3 by 2, right? So 2 raised to minus 3 by 2 we will have. And here what will happen? See, it has denominator 4, denominator 6. So yeah, it's uh, LCM will be 12. So I, I will try to maintain 12. So we need to multiply numerator denominator by 3. So we'll have minus 69 pi i. And here we need to multiply uh, numerator denominator by 2 only. So we'll have 26 pi i by 12. Okay. So we have some space here. Let us use. So 2 raised to minus 23, uh, sorry, minus 3 by 2, right? Minus 3 by 2. And here, if you add e raised to uh, minus 43, right? Yes, minus 43 pi i by 12. So 2 raised to minus 3 by 2, e raised to minus I'm taking common. So 43 by 12 can be expressed in this way also. So it will be uh, 4 pi i minus 5 pi i by 12. If you cross multiply, okay, if you cross multiply 48 minus 5, again, you will have 43, right? And minus I, I have already written. So this will be 2 raised to minus 23 by 2 e raised to minus minus plus 5 pi i by 12. I'm telling you the reason because e raised to 2 n pi i plus theta is equal to e raised to theta. Okay, so this is the reason if you have an angle multiple of 2 pi, okay, your uh, integral multiple of 2 pi i, you will have the same e raised to theta. So here also that's why 4 pi i we have. So simply I write 5 pi i by 12, but minus is there. So minus minus plus. So let us express in a polar form. So this is exponential form 2 raised to minus 3 by 2 cos, right? What is the angle 5 pi i by 12? plus i sine 5 pi i by 12. So this is the required answer. Okay, you can make a screenshot of it then we'll stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.